Time has come. The lift kit is getting installed. Step one, gotta take the wheels off. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> this <is> me. <laughs> it's in the video. <laughs> well first, we're gonna close the door of my Volvo. And then we're gonna disconnect the uh, sway bar links. Let's do it. So we're gonna take off the sway bar links right here. I'm gonna leave the end links in place. Some people take those off, but you can see here where the axle's been hitting the bump stop. That's because these shocks, these, I'm uh, sorry, these air springs are totally shot. So sometimes we'll bottom out and boom, axle meet uh, bump stop. So we're gonna take these guys off to start out with. These two 12 millimeter bolts. And so just these 12 millimeter bolts right here. Yeah. All right. Put those over there. I got the other ones out as well. And the sway bar should give me a little more wiggle room in there. There you go. Nice. All right. Now, next, we're going to disconnect this wiring right here and take off this bottom shock bolt. Let's go. All right. Now is a good time to check your brake pads as well. These ones look nice and thick, so I think we're good to go. I should get a cap for this bleeder nipple, but again, disconnect this. It's wiring. We're gonna move on to this. All right, I need a 17 millimeter socket here, which Rebecca has kindly provided. Now let's see if it comes off. If not, we're gonna use some more persuasive methods. All right, this little guy is hidden way up in there. Now, most people say to get, you know, some really long needle nose pliers and take it out because it lives right up in here somewhere. What I found to work was to get needle nose pliers and go around the backside up in here. It lived right around here. So you just need to get something like that and pull it out. It's actually not too difficult. It just goes in like this and it needed like that much force to come out. And it flew out. So for this side, on the other side, the tab was facing toward me, so I needed to pull it, that's why I went underneath. But I think this one, I could just get anything, any old Slender James, and just knock it out. So we'll see if it works. All right, yeah, this one's gonna, it's actually bending backwards. There it goes. Okay, so let me just fish, fish it out of there. I finally got it out. So this little piece holds them in. Now I, I gotta figure out how to take these things out. So let's get started. So I was gonna try to take the airbags out. Uh, these are the airbags. Uh, but I was like, mm, why aren't they dropping out like I see in the videos? I have to take this one, I think we all Remember this one right here that I took off the 17 millimeter at the bottom of the shock So this bolt went in here. I what I did is raised up the old axle a little bit so I can uh, get a better angle And I'm gonna see if I can hammer it off or have Rebecca It looks like it's coming off It's almost there That's good. All right, let's get this bad boy off There it goes. All right, let's get the other side. So I just got blasted. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the airline was held in by a little keeper. I took the keeper, I was like, okay, why is nothing happening? And I was like, hmm. I just yanked on it and just like psh, blew a bunch <laughs> of dirt in my face. My name's Daniel, and this is the Airbag Baja Blast. Oh. oh. The first one was way more intense, but it still got pretty dusty. <laughs> Get out of here. So that was fun. And now, check this out. Here comes this bad boy. Bye-bye. Oh, dusty. Now I just got to get the old shocks out. 
Uh, you're supposed to get a tap, like a pair of pliers up here and like use this to blah, blah, blah. But I don't care about these shocks, so I'm just gonna use some channel locks on the, the body here and, uh, and get these bad boys off. So let's go. So here on the other side, and I think that is it. So let's get this guy. yank this so oh, I forgot to undo the power on this side the uh, cable won't be needing this ride control anymore because we're doing a static setup there you go and I will just put all of this back together as an assembly now let's put it over with the other one well now that my eyes are completely full of dust oh. let's get that other airbag out Work with me! Thank you. Look at that boy. Put it over next to its twin. So, Ibok didn't give me any instructions here, but I think I know what's going on. I guess we'll find out. This is a rear spring, allegedly, and uh, this looks like this puck seat, seats on the uh, axle, so I'm gonna screw uh, screw into there, and it's gonna sit there to retain this, and then the uh, perches should go from the back of this. So let's see if I can find those first. You want to tell us what happened? Yeah, carnage. Getting these pucks in was scary business. I forgot to put the washer in at first, and then I had to get it out, but it kept stripping, so... Anyways, it was a disaster, so let's keep going. Guess I'm gonna install the shock? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just... This didn't come with instructions, I'm just... I'm just aping it. So, the other side, we had a lot of trouble with this because I forgot to put this washer in on the bottom initially. I won't forget that again. Let's do it. I might want to make sure this is super clean. There we go. See you on the other side. Okay, boys, here we go. Let's see if I can get this in without having Rebecca stand on the axle like last time. What are you getting stuck on, bud? All right, Rebecca, you're up. Okay. Yep. Yep. Wait. Keep it coming. There you go, babe. All right. And that's how you do it. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Didn't see you there. Uh, so we're going to put this side in now, the right side. It was a little easier to get in. Um, first, I'm going to start put a little anti-seize on the the shock perch down uh, under here. There we go. Oh. Yeah. Stop. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that's good. I'm gonna use my hand and just smear it around a little bit. And then for this top uh, bolt, I'm gonna get a little bit of thread locking compound, uh, Loctite, and put it on these threads. But that's gonna take place after we get it in there. So. Feed it down there, and I hope I can do this first try. We'll figure it out. <laughs> no way! Bye bye. That's gone forever. One hour later. Yeah, I found it, and we're gonna try that again. Do you want me to hold? There it goes. Yeah, thought you had me, didn't ya? <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna ask Rebecca to hold this body and hold it up so it doesn't fall. And get the thread locking compound. I'm just gonna put it on the nut. Just a dab. Here goes nothing, boys. 
And now I'm just gonna take my uh, 3 fourths wrench and uh, put some channel locks around these flat portions and get it on. Uh, the rear is now lifted. You can look in there, see the uh, Ibox shocks and the silver springs. They used to be an airbag, so uh, we're gonna pull it out and take it for a quick test drive and hopefully I don't die. Okay, boys, rolling in for day two. Let's get it. All right, day two. Here with the wife. We got the fronts jacked up just about. Need to get those jack stands in there. And those are not the recalled ones, so let's get those wheels off and uh, get started. Is there a washer in there? Yeah. Nicely done. So we got it all jacked up. I might hit this uh, with a bit of degreaser before we get going. So I got a little degreaser on the knuckle. And what I'm gonna do first is uh, move this uh, ABS uh, bracket out of the way. Let's see if I can get this to break free without too much trouble. Might need to do the old lock them together trick. There we go. Ratcheting press wrenches are super nice. All right, so let's knock, knock it out of the way. We get some needle nose pliers and get it out of there. And it's a hard brake line right here. So I'm just gonna like massage it out of the way and return the bolt so I don't Forget about it. Always gotta think ahead with these jobs or they can end up taking a lot longer than you anticipate. So I just took this little cotter pin out of the castle nut right here. And now I am going to, sorry, my whole family is coming through somehow, like right now. Uh, just take out this castle nut, 19 millimeter. And uh, then we're gonna work on separating the upper control arm from the knuckle. And that's gonna take a couple whacks of the hammers. All right. So after much finagling, I got this out of here. Now I'm working on getting this upper control arm out. There's a bolt that goes all the way through there. So yeah, wish me luck. So like I said, this bolt goes all the way through and comes out right, right down there. So. Wish me luck trying to get that thing out. Whew, way in there. Well, I'm sorry I didn't film more. I kind of got overtaken by a whole lot of stuff, but here it is. It's pretty level. I gotta put the center caps on that wheel still, so here it is right there. But, there is the suspension all in, new Eibach Pro Truck kit uh, fronts and uh, um, Freedom Off-Road upper control arms. The other side is done too. Just in case you were wondering. So yeah, it sits pretty level, which is the look I was going for. More to come when we get tires.